You know, sometimes we get so obsessed with the big stories of the day that the little stories can fall through the cracks. Well, I love to get my hand down into that crack and see what I can fish out. <laughs> In our beloved segment... Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile... Yesterday, I told you all about Donald Trump holding that press conference backed up by the cast of Reservoir Dorks. <laughs> but take a look at Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin behind Trump while he's speaking. What, what is it? <laughs> what, what is it that he's doing? Is he gonna hock a loogie on Jared? Is he, is, is, does he have a hairball? <laughs> we don't know. Turns out there's a perfectly reasonable explanation once you turn down Trump and turn up Steve Mnuchin's audio. Jimmy, can we hear that, please? Nobody knew a thing like this could have happened. When, when <laughs> Justice now Justice Gorsuch got up there, it was rough, but it was nothing. They didn't know what they were doing to this man and what they're coming up with. And in many cases, fabricating, because as you know, many times were pulled back. Meanwhile, in astronomy news, a skull-shaped asteroid will pass by Earth after Halloween. Well, there you have it. Donald Trump's president, giant skull is appearing in the heavens. Now we just need the oceans to turn to blood, and we can finally check apocalypse off our bucket list. <laughs> now, a few points of clarification. First of all, please do not freak out. It's not really a skull-shaped asteroid. It's just a ball of rocks and frozen gas that has lost its luminance after too many trips around the solar system, and it's technically a skull-shaped Death Comet. <laughs> Isn't that reassuring? <laughs> no, 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 honey. It's not a skull asteroid. It's a Death Comet. Good night. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, we have another edition of our segment in segment. Animal in the human place. Where did that animal get into this time, Jim? It's a horse in a coffee shop. <laughs> yes, a horse in a coffee shop. Why is he putting on such a rampage? Turns out, they misspelled his name on the cup. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile on Meanwhile, a battle is raging in Houston, Texas, where the city's mayor is pushing back against a robot brothel that is coming to town. Uh oh, the robot brothel is a coming down the streets. The idea makes sense. Who among us hasn't fantasized about patronizing a prostitute that can also destroy you at chess? <laughs> at this robot brothel, customers will pay for use of the dolls and a private room, and sessions range from 30 minutes up to two hours. Totally up to you how you divide that time between sex and weeping over what brought you to this moment. <laughs> Your Roomba will never forgive you. <laughs> we'll be right back with Eva Longoria.